Okay, so, uh, Woosh and I used to live in a small town in Ontario together and went to high school there. And, uh, um, some of us discovered a cliff one day that was outside of town. You had to walk along this little stream for quite a while with a, a path that went through the trees and some really scary parts of the trees too, like weird spots that just give you eerie feelings. I don't know how to explain it otherwise. But anyway, would like, it would be like all muddy and flooded. Yeah, and yeah, that part was like, bad. Like dead trees there. Yeah. yeah. So then, anyways, so um, we found these cliffs that, you know, if you take this trail out quite a ways, you can end up there. And it was so secluded that you could camp out there <clears throat> and make a lot of noise and no one would ever bother you. So we got a lot of friends together and we'd go eat sandwiches all night long. Yeah, and we had some great sandwich sessions. With, like mushrooms on them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're talking good mushrooms on those sandwiches. Let me tell you what, and like a lot of the time, I I don't think I've ever been to Bun Black and not been inebriated on some form of sandwiches, or mushrooms on sandwiches, and, <laughs> and so uh, we'd have these big camping trips out there. We had a big group of friends in high school. You know, we'd sometimes have I think the the record was thirteen or sixteen people out there. I don't remember. And uh, oh, it was good times. We'd we'd make a mess of the place and eventually clean it up a few weeks later. And one time there was a tree, a dead tree, like cedar tree, with all these branches hanging over a cliff behind where we set up our tents on top of these bun black cliffs. Oh, I'll explain why it's called bun, bun black too. And then anyways, there was this tree uh, leaning over, and everybody took to throwing their. It was really rainy that weekend, and all our socks got destroyed and wet and gross. So we threw all of our nasty socks up into the tree branches and we had this sock tree that was like it looked like Christmas with all these socks <laughs> everywhere <laughs> and uh, there was a cooler Mike's cooler was up there for like two years before someone came and got it <laughs> but anyways the place was called uh, I remember carrying wood there no I'll, I'll spell it it was called bun b-u-n bun black like that and it was called Bun Black because when I first I, I first discovered it with a couple of friends, uh, Ryan Tanner and this other douchebag, um, can't remember his name right now. And we were walking along um, this trail and we just saw some cliffs off in the trees to the left a little bit. And we're like, why don't we climb that, trip? that cliff there? Okay, it looks like a good spot. And we climbed up and in one little spot where like most of the day, most of the year, the sun comes through the trees right onto this beautiful little spot on top of the cliff. And there's, uh, in that spot, is the grave of a man named Bun Black. And um, just down from the grave, down a, like a very short, you know, two-foot cliff, um, was a big open area with a fire pit that was there before we got there, with logs laid out where you could sit a lot of people. And then off to the side of that was a big open area, um, cleared away and everything, where you could set up several tents. And we had some wild parties out there. We'd bring, you know, stereos on batteries and... And uh, so many, so many sandwiches and mushrooms out there. It was great. Um, oh boy, I can tell some great stories about that place. So, I have a friend named Joel who kind of likes to push the limits. And uh, one night we were out there and he was really drunk. He was drunk on JD like no tomorrow. He was so wasted. That was Crown Royal. Crown Royal, yeah. So he had this bottle of Crown Royal. And he would, uh, he was dumping a little bit onto the fire, and of course Crown Royal is definitely flammable. So the fire would like chase up the the stream and go towards the mouth of the bottle. And There's I kept like saying, six foot fireballs coming yeah. off this fire. And I and then I've got again the stream of fire going up the liquor back towards the bottle where it's gonna explode in his hand, right? And I kept saying no, to he him, did, he doesn't eat sandwiches. He doesn't like cheese. To <laughs> Yeah, he, he's not really much of a sandwich eater, but the one time he, he took some really different type of sandwiches, it didn't turn out for him <laughs> in the end. But uh, so he was so drunk on this Crown Royal, he was uh, uh, pouring it onto the fire. And I kept saying, dude, you know, that's going to blow up in your hand. That's really dangerous. And uh, he was like totally like yelling, you know, getting all upset about it. And like, dude, dude, like it's not going to... You know, the science behind it, it's not going to fucking blow up in my hand, man. Just watch. And he'd do it again. I'd be like, dude, cut it out. He'd be like, just watch. It's not going to do it. Dude, cut it out. Like, I don't need to fucking drag your ass to the hospital tonight, you know. I'm pretty uh, trashed on sandwiches, man. I can't be carrying you through the forest. Never mind the dark. shrapnel for the rest of us. Yeah, exactly. The shrapnel for the rest of us. Like, he could be hurting one of us, right, and not himself. 
So yeah, Joel was just kind of like that. And now he's uh, heavily medicated and often in a mental institution. But that's a, that's a story for another day. <laughs> that night I had to like pick him up. Uh, out. He decided he wanted to lay down in broken glass. <laughs> I decided to pick him up out of broken glass. <laughs> yeah, he made some pretty crazy decisions and isn't of right mind these days, unfortunately. Great guy, though. Great guy. Yeah, he's a genius. He scored, oh, like, yeah. the highest on the grade 12 math test. Genius is right. Absolutely genius. For, like, genius. a large region of southern Ontario. Absolutely Southern genius. and central. It wouldn't explode, you say, eh? It looked like it was going to explode to us, and, you know, for... Not me. Just, no, I knew it wasn't going to. But here's the thing. I, is to, Just for I the, the sake Bunsen of... I know the burner physics. Sure, sure. But just for the sake of, of peace of mind, I would have appreciated him to just stop doing it. The fireballs and everything was just not, you know, jiving with the mushrooms I had on my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest to anyone out there, if you're eating mushrooms uh, on your sandwich, um, don't hang out with drunk people. It's two completely different buzzes, and you really shouldn't hang out together. It, it just, don't. one makes you stupid, and one makes you ultra-intelligent, and it's just don't not... Don't hang out with drunk paranoid schizophrenics yeah paranoid schizophrenics as well that hear Jesus in their head and wear their emotions on their sleeve by using hand gestures that can sometimes hit you in the face <laughs> again the whole Joel story is a story for another time he's a great guy I'll tell that story for sure <laughs>